What types of arguments should you never pass into a function? Booleans. Booleans. Now, by the way, I use the word never. Never is the wrong word. Mostly never is probably a better way to put that. Don't pass Booleans into functions. Why not? Well, because if you pass a Boolean into a function, there must be an if statement in that function. And that if statement has two branches, the normal branch and the else branch. Why not just separate them into two functions? Call the one in the true case, call the other in the false case. Have you ever read code that has Boolean arguments? It's rude. You know, do this, comma, five, comma, six, comma, true. And here's how you read this code. When you're reading this code, you stare at that Boolean and go, ah, oh, shit. Well, the, the author probably knew what he was talking about, and you walk away. You're not going to go read what the Boolean does. It's probably some stupid if statement in the middle of the function. Don't pass Booleans around. They're just annoying. Now, that can't be a hard and fast rule because there are times when you want to pass a Boolean around. For example, you are setting the state of a switch. You know, set switch, Boolean. Okay, fine. But don't use it as a little testing argument into functions. That's just rude. It's annoying. Another thing that's rude is output arguments. Arguments that are passed into a function for the purpose of collecting the output. Nobody understands that, right? You're reading along, and you've probably all had this experience, right? You're reading along, and you read this line, and there's an argument at the end of the function call, and you're not quite sure why it's there. It seems out, out of context. It's just a bizarre argument. But you've got this vertical momentum as you're reading. Who's had this experience, right? You're reading down, and there's something about this line that puzzles you, but you've got this nice vertical momentum, so you keep reading. But a little process has started in your brain. And this little process starts yelling at you louder and louder. You didn't understand that last line. You didn't understand that last line. And your eyes are torn back up to look at that line. This process in your head takes your, takes your head and moves it back to stare at that line. This is a double take. You know a double take? It's, I, I think it's American slang, double take. A double take is like this. You're out on the road. You're, you're on the sidewalk. You're walking down the street. Out of the corner of your eye, you see an attractive individual. You turn away, and then a little process in your brain goes, wait, that was interesting, and you go back. That's a double take. Right? Code that makes you do a double take is rude. It's a rude code. It forces you to stop your reading and go back. So you don't want to have these double take moments in the code. There's another author who says, this is the principle of least surprise. Make sure that your code is not surprising.